The Denali Sound Bomb. I love this horn. I mounted it on my 2014 GSA up between the forks where recommended. And I even purchased and used Denali's mounting bracket. And I finally found a problem with Denali. Um, so I'll be fixing it. The mounting works this way. And it's only got one mounting spot. Which means... It mounts like so, and the nut slides up inside. Here's the only problem. When you're off-roading, and, you, and even though you've tightened it up really well, and you jar, it can move. So I've actually had it move and make contact with my um, fork seal, and it tore the spring off. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't go very long, so I stopped, got it you know, got it taken care of, and now I'm coming up with a fix. So my fix is going to be the insertion of um, stock, square stock above it, so that the sound guard will be up against this and will not be able to twist from side to side. When the sound bomb twisted on the um, Denali manufactured um, bracket, here, um, not only did it do damage to the to the seal on the bike, but it hit here, and it was extremely tight. Um, even when I went to take it off, it was extremely tight. So here's my fix. Um, I've put the stock on. I also had because there was a little bit of space. I also put a piece of flat stock on top here so that it's a little thicker. Because as you can see, my stock. Um, I think it's about, it looks like it's about five-eighths of an inch, and my stock is, it's thin. And I put it all on with JB Weld, um, because I wanted the flexibility to be able to move things and adjust as I was putting it together. Um, in order to have the JB Weld work better and not just be a surface mount, I drilled holes um, here and here, which go through the stock also, so that it gets filled with JB Weld. So there's JB Weld on this side going all the way through, which will help hold it a little better. So there is a slight change in installation for it. once you've got this done. You see how it's gonna it's gonna sit just like that. There's no way that this will twist because it's flat on flat. Um, but what it means is you need to install this the bracket, and then put it up and bolt it to the frame of the BMW. That should fix the only problem I've ever found with Denali. So here's the Denali um, in place. I also use this horn even when I'm off-road. When I'm on a trail and coming up to a blind curve, when it's wide enough that a Jeep might be coming the other way, I might give a couple of toots on the horn as I'm getting to the curve. I love this horn.